In this video, we're going to take a look at Visual Composer's carousel image option. We're going to take a look at how it works on the page, the options it gives us, and how we can control and configure the way it looks with our images. So let's take a look at how we do that. The first thing we need to do now is just add this Visual Composer building block element in by clicking on the plus, choose an image carousel, and that'll load up the window that'll show us all the options we've got available to us for this particular building block. You can see we've got the widget title, the ability to add images in, the carousel size, what happens when we click on an image, whether we want the slider to be horizontal or vertical, the speed at which the slides transition, the number of slides per view, and a whole range of other options that we're going to take a look at as we go through the video. But first of all, let's just take a look at how we simply add a couple of images in and set some basic parameters just to get this up on our page. So the first thing we need to do is add a couple of images in. So we click on the plus, and we'll just choose a couple of images from our image library and add those in. The next thing we're going to do is set the carousel size, which I know is going to be a scaled version of these four images. We're going to tell it we want it to open a pretty photo. Actually, let's just say we want it to do nothing. And we say slider and in horizontal mode, and we'll leave it at the slider speed of 500 milliseconds. And we'll just say save changes. So we'll update this page, switch over back over to the front end of the website, and take a look at what it all looks like. Okay, so just refresh my page and you can see we've now got our carousel inserted into the top of our page. Now we find that every 5,000 milliseconds, this is gonna transition through to the next image and it'll keep on going right the way through. We can move it along by clicking the arrows on the right or left hand side to go to the next slide or we can use the little dots that denote exactly where we are. So you see I can jump through to any of the slides that I want. But what you should notice is this looks a little different to the slider because what's happening is effectively you've got your four, in our case, images, one after the other. So if I go from the first image to the last image, you see it scrolls through all the other ones first, whereas on a normal slider, it will just show you the slide that you click on. So it's a little different to sliders, not a massive amount, but there are some options that are slightly different. And obviously it's a personal preference of which one you prefer to use. And like I say, we can use the left or right arrows to transition through to the different options available to us or the different images available to us. So let's just switch back over to the back end of the website now and see how we can change some of the options on there and how we would interact with this slider, or this carousel, I should say. So let's open the options back up and let's adjust a few settings. Let's just say that on click I want to open a pretty photo, that I want to cut down the duration in milliseconds to 2000. Let's just say we're going to have three slides in view. We leave the autoplay on and we say yeah we'll leave it at that. We're not going to set the other options. As you can see underneath each of these options it tells you what each one does. So I always, I always recommend try it, check some of the settings on there, see how it works with your particular instance of working with this particular uh, carousel on your web page. Don't be afraid to try, get in there, change some of the options, worst case scenario, you can delete the content, delete the page, start again fresh. So don't ever be afraid to try all the different settings just to see what they do and give you a good understanding of how this entire uh, visual compose and all the options that it gives you work. So let's just save the changes update the page and then we'll switch back over to the front end of the website and take a look at what other changes have done. So let's refresh the page and take a look. So as we can see now we've got three options showing at a time and it'll jump through and scroll through for us. We can click on any of these images to get the larger version and we can use the navigation that we've got on our pretty photo to jump around our images. So you can see that we can get quite a different look just by changing some of the parameters. So if you've got lots and lots of images, you can have a nice little automatic scrolling effect to go through that will automatically loop if you wanted to, uh, hide the navigation elements. There's lots and lots of different ways you can set this up to work in the way that you want it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel. And until next time, take care.